Okay, how I make my grommets is like this. I use this cloth type of tape. It's actually like, it's got almost like fiberglass running through it. Super strong. And I just run this down the corner. I didn't do as good a job on this one as I've done on my other ones, but you want to get that coming right off the corner. Flip it over. I know, it's, you guys, uh, you can probably measure this and get a little more exact science if you like. It's not that big of a deal to me. So now I'm going to make the grommet side of it. So I'm going to just overlap this a little bit like this. Run this down the tape. And this is going to go like this. Get that as flat as possible. And what we've done is we've created a little grommet so you can see. I can hook something onto that. Okay, so you can see here, that's how I taped it on. And I use these S-beaners, uh, kind of creates a little less stress on there. And then I have this rubber band and line, and it's just going down to a stake. And of course, this is just my regular ridge line that I use for my hammocks and everything else you may have seen on the other video. The thing I like about this heat sheet, uh, is it space certified? No, is it? It has all this really cool information on here. It has wilderness survival stuff. It's like a, it's kind of a, it's a very, very cool setup. It shows you little diagrams how to make shelters and things like that. And so that would be good for somebody who doesn't know those things. And it talks about how to make uh, solar stills and things. It's just really kind of neat. Fire igniting. It's just neat. I like it. Good stuff. Uh, bright orange, kind of ugly, but you know what, if you're lost, uh, they'll definitely see it from outer space. Well, not outer space, but... And it's certified space technology. Ooh. Okay, I had one of my subscribers um, suggest making one of these out of what's called a heat sheet. Now, it's a pretty bright orange, and it, it does not seem to have the same integrity as a space blanket. It stretches, it flexes more, and I already had one hole. I don't know if you can see that or not, the light coming through. Uh, it's a little bit, I don't think it's quite as durable, but the good thing about it is it's flexible more so. With a space blanket, if you start a tear, it goes through the entire thing. So I'm going to run a test. We have quite a bit of wind. So we're just uh, testing these in these conditions. You can see it's blowing around pretty good. I'm going to let this run all night long. I'll let you know how it works. And let me just show you how easy this stuff stretches. Okay, now watch. See that? It's kind of weird. It's, uh, but it, but the good thing about it is it, it flexes more. If you did that with a space, well, a space blanket wouldn't do that, but if you were to cut a space blanket, it would tear all the way through. This wouldn't tear all the way through. It must be a PVC based product. I know some of you techie gurus will be able to answer that one. Post your comments. The heat sheet. <laughs> it's a little bit more money than a space blanket too. But we'll see how it works out. Silver on the inside. They're pretty much claiming it has the same re reflective capabilities as a space blanket. Oh, one more thing I wanted to add. This thing is a lot quieter than a space blanket. Space blankets are really noisy. Now, if this were a space blanket right now and the wind was blowing that, it would be making a hellacious noise. This is really quiet in comparison doesn't crinkle like space blanket stuff does as much. I was in my kitchen doing some dishes. Checking out my beans that I'm making. And I realized it's still there. It's doing a great job. Windier than heck outside. Good testing day. Big T, signing out. Two hours after hanging. Okay, I'm just sitting out here waiting for uh, my tarp to either tear or something. No, I, I'm just sitting outside, it's a beautiful day. Uh, just playing with my bow drill set. 
Um, but that's really not what I'm here to talk to you about. What I want to talk to you guys about is um, the reflective stuff. You're probably wondering why am I so obsessed with reflective material. Now, I do believe that one day you're going to see a lot of tents. You're going to see a lot of backpacking equipment integrate some sort of reflective material. And it's going to just change the R factor like crazy. I slept in my hammock with my Mylar space blanket tarp over the top of me. I had to peel off some stuff on similar nights because of the reflective value where it just bounces that heat back to you. I understand that Mylar is not that. Um, it doesn't have a lot of integrity, it tears easy and all that, but it's just amazing how uh, it just bounces that, that reflective heat back onto you. So I think there's something to that. So I would like to see equipment made integrating more reflective type of material. I am actually working right now on a pup tent type design that is all mylar and on the bottom it is um, Tyvek. Got to get the bug netting thing down and all that. I'm sure I'm going to need a lot of ventilation in that thing. It's probably going to just really condensate like crazy. And I'm having a mind break but one of you guys told me about this material and uh, so I'm doing a little study on it right now. I'm Dyer CB. Okay, it's been 24 hours since I first put this up. We've had wind throughout the day, not as bad as it was yesterday. But this thing seems to be holding up pretty well. The grommets are staying in place that I made this, um, I don't know what you want to call it, but uh, underneath here, it doesn't seem to be chafing badly. Uh, I think it's holding up pretty well. And it's definitely a lot more quiet than the Mylar. So I think it's uh, I think it's something that would work. It's working pretty good. I like it. I like that it's quieter and it uh, seems to have some built-in inherent flex. You can kind of see here it looks like it's pulled a little bit. I don't know if uh, that's permanent or not. I'm going to take this down and lay it flat and we'll see. But uh, like I said before, this stuff is a little bit flexy. Kind of like it moves differently than the Space Blanket Tarp. Space Blanket Tarp by now, by the way, also, you would have seen a lot more light through it. You can actually see through the Space Blanket Tarp. You cannot see through this. So I think this may have some better reflective um, capabilities for long term. Okay, I thought for sure that this corner would have been stretched out. Um, but after 24 hours of pretty intense wind, the corners did not stretch out, which means it, it held its shape really well, which uh, I thought uh, for sure it would have um, stretched out, but it didn't. So that was a pretty successful test. Uh, these held really well. We've had wind. It's been out for 24 hours. And uh, I'm impressed with it. I didn't think it would hold up as well as the space blanket tarp, but it does. A little bit, um, you can, ow, I just stepped on a frickin' bullhead. Dang it. Doing a bit of an old zolf bit bear. To all my subscribers, and to all the people that comment, thank you so much. Uh, we're out here just to learn from one another. And uh, this has just been really fun. Uh, just great people sharing a lot of really good information. And let's just keep doing that. Let's just keep sharing and, and getting better and coming up with really cool ideas and just working off the grid, so to speak. I know we're on the grid, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, us is the... Okay. <laughs> That's what's great about this thing. It's just free flowing, free flowing. What you talking about, mate? I'm just kidding. It's okay. All right. So, uh, there. There you have it. <laughs>